God. I'm tired. I've been driving for like 12 hours. A couple of breaks, but mostly just been sitting in a vehicle between this car and the Uber. But it's been fun. Today we're going to give this thing a little wash. Just a quick rinse. I take it to get a tint done in an hour. Try and get some stuff done. A couple things. We're running some vinyl. Let's see if we can get this going.
Yeah, so that came out all right. A little bit better than what I did last night here. I kind of just cut the edge off here. I didn't really get any overlap except from the ends. And it was running out of daylight, so it was just kind of like I could barely see exactly what I was getting. And they, they cut the edge there. That, that gray. I'll probably redo this, but it's right for right now. I think I'm just going to leave it. Well, I try to save some daylight and get this part done here. I don't have my head mount yet, so I'm uh, just gonna get some basic footage here of me just driving around. I'm bored and uh, just test out the camera some more. Um, but since I don't have the head mount, those sounds not gonna work very good, so I'll save the uh, audio for later in the week once I get the mount.
it so far, but I've been so distracted by driving it that I haven't had a chance to really work and do that. Okay, here's something weird. I just pulled over. Just wanted to mess with my phone. Um, so I pulled in the parking lot. And I'm hearing like a gurgling noise. It sounds like it's coming from the fuel pump. I don't know if you can hear this. I hadn't noticed this at any other time. Let's see if I can be quiet. I don't know if that's going to come through on the camera or not, but getting through the uh, braking period. We're at uh, 459 miles now, and I hadn't noticed that before, so I don't know if that's abnormal or not. I don't know, so that was weird. So I wanted to do a little overview for the end of the video. So my summary of the car after one week, um, it's awful. Don't buy it. Just kidding. I really like it. I love it, actually. It's been everything I had hoped for and, and more, really. In the simplest terms, it's just been nice to drive again. It's also nice to drive a manual again. It's been five years since I've driven a manual. I was driving manuals for 20 years before that, so it's kind of like riding a bike. The only thing I had to get better at was just smoothing things out. But the shifter is really good. It's a little summary of my my 22 I have the uh, STI short throw shifter and then like the basic stuff all weather floor mats the trunk liner cargo net uh, this one outside is the side graphics all this stuff was ordered by the dealer before I put my reserve on it this was a an unclaimed vehicle that I found online I already had one on order since the end of September I thought I'd be jumping the line by a couple months, but it looks like it was really only about three weeks. As uh, as far as the channel goes, I just kind of wanted to put together some clips from the week. I wish I had filmed more. I'm still getting used to filming. Uh, I did feel weird in some situations. That's something I'll have to get over in, in the future if I'm going to make more videos. But I figure if you're out there and you're still waiting for your car and you're like... I was before, I was basically consuming everything I could find on YouTube, so if I could help out with other people that are looking for content, then I'll put it out there, because there's still not a lot of these out there. I still have a bunch of things left I'm going to do. Just simple stuff. Right now, just some cosmetic things. I've got the uh, Vortex generator came in. I know sometimes those are controversial, but I like the way they look. I had them on both my WRXs that on this weekend uh, there's some more vinyl I want to get done this weekend but I have to measure it out pre I have to cut it myself nothing's pre-cut so it's taking me a little bit longer just because it's not something I really had much experience with but it's been kind of fun also getting a detail with a ceramic coat done in two weeks so I'll document some of that as well the only thing I'm waiting on is the side vent accents those are on back order I'm not sure when they're going to come in. Hopefully they'll be in either before I take it to get ceramic coated or shortly after so I can get the, the photo shoot done. Because that would be nice if I could have everything done on the outside. But there's still a couple more things. I definitely want to get a cat back. I'm just not sure which one I want to go with yet. That's a toy toy too? Yeah. I like it. Thanks, man. What runs are those? The stock. Really? Yeah, 18s. What? Yeah. Yeah, so speaking of loud, since most of the first gen catbacks work with this, there's plenty out there to choose from. The only problem is all the sound clips are from first gens. I mean, I guess it's probably close enough, but kind of like to hear what it sounds like on the 2.4. I'm also kind of picky about the way I want it to look. I'm not really a big fan of the really thin sidewalls. I'd like to get one sooner than later, but I'd, I'd rather not just get whatever just to get one. 
Uh, as far as any issues, I have run into one issue with the software. The multifunction display on the left side here. Last Saturday I lost all of the custom settings I had in there. Everything reset back to, I don't even know if it was default, it was like everything got wiped out. The beep sounds, the, the RPM setting for it, all of that got reset. When I was explaining to my friend when I got back in the car, it kind of jogged my memory that the MFD that had the similar functions in the WRX that was up here in the middle, in the first run of the 2015s, they would reset if it got too cold out. There was some sort of bug in the system where if it was too cold, it would reset all of the settings. So I don't know if it's a similar type of situation with that or not. It didn't seem particularly cold on Saturday. It's, I think it's been colder the last couple days. And it hasn't reset since. It's been fine. So that's the only quirk I've run into. Keep an eye on it. I meant to post about it on the forums. I haven't got a chance to yet. Gas mileage has been okay. Just because we're in the break-in, I'm not keeping the speed constant. I'm not using the cruise control or anything like that. So that's obviously going to bring the fuel economy down. So we'll see how that goes once the car is fully broken in. We're about at 700 miles right now. So yeah, I'm planning to do more videos with some of the more upgrades I plan. If uh, you know more people are interested in it, let me know in the comments if you actually watch the video, if you're interested in seeing more stuff. Now that I have one, I figure I contribute and put some out there. So I think that's it, that's all I can think of. So yeah, if you like what you saw, hit me, hit me up with a like, you know, blah, 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 YouTube. Yeah, I'm planning to do some more videos for sure. I'll just see how it goes. Thanks for watching.